Hi everyone, I'm Shivangi Kejriwal. I'm currently pursuing business management from Excel RA Jamshedpur. I'm in my second year and here my specialization is marketing. My summer internship was in Nestle wherein I worked as a sales and marketing intern. Prior to that, I worked as a district lead in Saga district under the fellowship launched by Ministry of Women and Child Development and Tata Trust. I completed my undergraduate from Ashoka University in economics. So today, I'm going to talk about my experience while giving the decision-making section of the ZAT. From my experience, I found that there are this is the section where aspirants tend to get the most confused or stressed out because this section is missing from CAT. And often, we tend to hear that there is no strategy to crack the section because it is inherent in an individual. However, after giving the exam and scoring a 99 percentile, I believe there are definitely certain steps one can follow to get a good score in the section and which is the core of the video. Along with that, I would like to say that although you would be focusing on this section, be ensure that you are preparing for verbal and quant and other sections in the exam while preparing for DM. So let's talk about the format of this exam for, for this section. So there are three categories. First is the single question props. In this, a single passage is followed by one question. The second uh, category is two to three question per prompt in which moderate case rates are followed by two to three questions. And the final category, which is ten, which is uh, perceived to be the most complicated, is four to five questions per prompt where long case rates are given, which are often tend to find more confusing. So let's talk about the last category, the four to five questions per prompt. So here, my suggestion is that since it tends to be long and the most confusing type of format, you should be focusing on giving mock exams and you should be looking at the past year papers. Not only that, you should be analyzing the questions and I would, and I'll tell you in the, later on how you can analyze this question. In my case, for instance, Amir sir really helped me out by helping, by discussing these questions and analyzing the mock exams. Now, okay, now we can talk about the approach that we can use to analyze these questions or even give these questions in, during the ZAT exam. So, first of all, try to look at the problems for a third person's point of view with minimum biases. I can't stress this enough that it's important to have an objective point of view while answering these questions. Second, do not be extreme while selecting options. For example, if you know that there have been allegations against an employee about stealing in the office, but these allegations have been based on rumors, would you fire the employee? If you do select, if you do answer that you are firing the employee or if you do select the answer that you will not do anything about it, then I believe, in my opinion, these are extreme approaches. Can you base your allegations on rumors? In my opinion, no. So these are the things that you could look at while solving, solving these questions. So do you, so here I would like to point out that you need to analyze the prompts. How you can do that? The way you can do that is you can identify the stakeholders in the question. In this case, it would be the employee against which the allegations were read. It could be the employees who was to started the rumors. It could be the management and others. So you need to identify the stakeholders looking at the prompts and see how are they being affected. Are they being affected in a positive way, neutral way, or are they being affected at all? Once you're able to look at that, you can see the degree to which they are being affected. This will help you see the problem from multiple points of view and not a biased point of view. Through this, you can identify the problems and challenges that are being faced by the stakeholder and develop that analytical mindset. Not only this, it is important to, again, which I'll reiterate, is that you solve the mocks. You look at the past eight exams and probably find someone who can help you discussing the problems. In my case, my friends or my mentors really helped me discuss the questions and we were able to identify if any of us, if we had a varying point of view, we would discuss and come out to the right approach. There is no one way to answer the question, but obviously there's a best way to answer the question. So with that said, I will wish you all of the best and please take these uh, pointers into you and obviously use your best judgment. Thank you.